Another thing that people ask me is how to freeze or lock columns and rows in Excel. So I'd like to go to a different sheet. I'm going to right click in this arrow and I'm going to click on a sheet that's called sum if, count if, and average if. And I'll click OK. Notice how we have a huge list of data here. Notice uh, the headers on row one, but if I scroll down, the headers are not there anymore. So I really would like to freeze the headers uh, at the top there. So everybody, you're going to click on the row below the row that you want to freeze. So I want to freeze row one. That's why I picked on the cell on row two. In fact, I picked on cell B2 because when we do the freeze panes, it's going to freeze everything above the current cell and it's going to freeze everything to the left of the current cell. So if I pick on cell B2, row one is going to be frozen and also column A. And now to actually freeze them, we'll pick on the view menu up at the top, view. Then I'll pick in the word freeze panes and I'll pick in the word freeze panes as well. Now notice how there's one that says freeze top row or freeze first column. So you can just do those. But when I pick on freeze panes, it's based on where the actual cell is. Now look very closely. There's a line between row one and row two, and there's a line between column A and column B. So if I scroll down now, notice how row one is frozen on the screen. So that's very helpful with a large list of data. And that'll be there for as long as you scroll down. Now also, let me scroll to the right. Notice column A is frozen on the screen because when I did the freeze panes, I was on cell B2. So everything above the current cell will be frozen and everything to the left of the current cell will be frozen. That's why row one is frozen. And also if I scroll to the uh, right, column A is also frozen. All right, so I clicked on cell B2. I picked in the view menu and then freeze paints. Now, if I wanted to turn that off again, I would say unfreeze paints and it would go back to normal. But if I save it right now, it'll be like that the next time as well. So now you know how to freeze your rows and columns in Microsoft Excel.